Oh my gosh, what the heck happened here? Oh no, I gotta clean that. Filter. That was terrible. I don't know what the heck happened there. Hello guys. What is up? Welcome back to the vlog today. Truthfully, uh, I was editing a vlog this morning and I'm almost done with it. My goal was to get it up today, but I just feel like there's still too much work to be done and I've got other personal stuff that I have to get done. So I don't know if it's really going to go up today, but I was working on a vlog today and it is the last vlog that I have filmed because I was going to film two vlogs last week and then last week just ended up being crazy and I didn't get to film a second vlog. So here I am vlogging today and I actually have some stuff that I want to get done that I feel like would be good for vlog content. I don't know if you guys are interested in it, but the very, very first thing, I'm like slowly waddling over here. I really wish I had a better spot to put my camera. That's not bad. Maybe I can angle it down a little. Okay. I don't love that, but it's better than nothing, right? I really wish I had a better spot because all the lighting in here is coming from these big windows that I have and Sometimes like I just don't have a spot for my camera, huh? Unless I set up my whole tripod and I just don't feel like doing that. So this is what you're getting. Fancy and I from this angle, huh? Okay. You just gonna stand there? So Alex and I, we went to Georgia this weekend. If you guys remember a while back, I filmed a vlog where I got an umbrella and I told you guys that we had a beach trip coming up. We were supposed to be in Florida or we were supposed to go to Florida this past weekend, but because of Hurricane Sally, we had to change our plans last minute. It was very, very last minute. So I actually saw another Birmingham influencer go to this place in Georgia. It's called Chateau Elan and it's like a winery resort, but it's like, I don't know. It has, it totally has the resort feel where there's restaurants and everything at the place. They have a spa, they've got a winery, they've got a golf course. Like it's totally got that resort feel and that's what they are 100% going for. So I had heard of that place from that influencer. saw so that she went and I was like, you know what? This is a quick two and a half hour drive for us. We still need to get away because we need to test out fancy is puppy sitter. So yeah, we were in Georgia this weekend. The reason I'm telling you this is because Basically everything was booked. I tried to get us on a wine tour, a cooking class, to the spa. Everything was booked. Not a big deal because we ended up going golfing. Alex golfed 18 holes and I rode in the golf cart, but we were actually paired up with another couple and I was sitting in the golf cart reading uh, a book called Unfuck Yourself. I had seen it so many times at Target that I was like, for this trip, I'm specifically gonna buy this book. So I bought that book and I was reading it. And funny enough, the guy that we were golfing with, he's a big into personal development books. Like he said he has so many books. He's got a whole entire library and we were just like talking about the best books we've ever read and all that stuff. And the one book he recommended that he said, I absolutely have to read is Who Moved My Cheese? He said that he's gifted this book to so many people. He's bought so many copies for like the people he works with and all of that stuff. So I bought Who Moved My Cheese because this guy had read so many of the same personal development books as me that I'm like, he has to know like what is good. But this is, this is the shortest book. Oh my gosh, this book is less than 100 pages. I did not see that coming, but he swore by it and he said that it was really, really good. So yeah, that's fun. Anyways, what I actually want to do in this vlog is kind of get my life together because we just got back from Georgia yesterday. So I have to go grocery shopping. I really this week want to film my office tour for you guys. Even though you've seen my office, I would like to go over some of the details and also share how much it costs me to do my office, but then include links to everything because I get a lot of questions about where certain things are from, such as, my desk chair right here. Uh, sadly, this bad boy is no longer available, so I can't really look to him, but I did get him on Amazon. Uh, it's just no longer sold. But yeah, I do wanna film that vlog this week. So one of the things I wanna specifically do today, let me make sure that there's nothing personal. I don't think that there is that you guys can see, but I wanna go through my storage unit and I just like, it needs to, uh, it needs help to say the least, it absolutely needs help. And there are some drawers, like this drawer right here. Uh, yeah, it's just, it was supposed to be easy access, stuff that I needed, and then it just turned into a disaster. I don't like the way that these are styled anymore. 
So I don't know. I think I just want to put this a little bit more together before I do that office tour for you guys. And then, yeah, I'm not proud of this. Okay. I'm not proud of this. When we moved in, there were certain things like, you know, that this happens when you're just like, want to be done with it. You just want to be done. So you just throw stuff in places, you know, like I've got one of those drawers in my bedroom. I really want to also go through my closet. I'm going to be doing that here soon and I'll vlog it for you guys. But our coat closet is one of just those closets, you know? I, guys, I'm not proud of this, okay? Um, all of my puzzles, LOL, my yoga blocks that I have right there. It's just, it's fine. It really, it could be worse, okay? It could be worse. Like there are actual coats in here. It's semi being used for its purpose, but what ended up really happening is I was finishing decorating my office and I was supposed to, right here, I was gonna put up my floating shelves that I had before in my other office. So I would have three black floating shelves and I was gonna put them there and Alex was gonna help me do it. And then I think just Alex forgot. And the more I sat with my office, I was like, I don't want something else there. Like I just liked the way that this looked. It seemed really open and airy and I thought that maybe that would look cluttered. So some of my decor and stuff, such as those floating shelves and the things that were gonna go on those floating shelves ended up in this closet because I needed them out of my office for filming. So it's really my fault. It's 100% my fault, but that is what I'm going to be doing today. I think I'm gonna first clean, then grocery shop, then finish work. Let me just show you guys. For these cubes right here, I have like rainbow books, I've got black and white books, and then I've got essential oils over there. To be honest, I barely use my essential oils. So like, do I need them out in the forefront? Probably not. So do I wanna just have all of these be books? Like, would that look cool or would that look really, really stupid? And if it would look stupid, then what do I put, like, what do I actually put in this one? And then what do I put in this one? I didn't mind. And I could do that. Like, that still leaves it pretty light and bright. Ah. Uh, Over 40 minutes later, and I feel like this is just a breath of fresh air for me. So I've got miscellaneous books and stuff up top. My journals, these are all journals, guys. It's fine. As well as like, this is a wedding book and this is a wedding book. So I put those over there. My essential oils, other miscellaneous things that I need. I restyled these and I think it just looks fresher and not as cluttered. And then in terms of my drawers, boom. Boom. I just feel like this is so, so much more organized. I know this one kind of looks like a junk pit, but I rarely go in here, but it's stuff that I still need. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud. It's so much more organized. I'm just like, heck to the yes. I'm hot. 
I'm really, really freaking hot from doing this. And it might be because I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but I think it's just <sighs> doing a lot of like moving and picking up and putting down. And it seems so minor, but I've been doing this for over 40 minutes. So yeah, I think I'm going to figure out where I want the rest of this stuff to go. Like I still, this stuff doesn't really need tidied up, but I just want to like make sure everything has a spot and then I won't let it get into a junk pit again. You know how that goes. Everyone knows how that goes. I just quickly did this closet. There really wasn't that much stuff to do other than move the junk and clutter that I had on the ground upstairs. So this is a bit more organized with, there's a couple games there, there's my yoga stuff there, that umbrella is there, and then this is Fancy's cooling mat. Uh, I'm fine with that stuff on the side. And then up here, yeah, we just have a stack of puzzles, but I'm really not too worried about that. My main focus was down here. So I can see the floor again, and that is progress. Now, minus catching my breath because I just ran up and down the stairs several times to take all that stuff up. Whew. I do think I need to order a couple of things. So mainly I need to order one thing. I wanna get a bin or something. Let me actually show you guys on the right hand side of my cabinet down in here. You see all that? That's where my lights end up as well as my tripod and stuff. So I would like to have a tiny little bin right there that just keeps everything really organized. So I need to measure that space and then order just a simple plastic bin off Amazon or something. Like it does not need to be nice looking. I just want it so that things do not fall over when they're over there. I want them all just to like have a nice little spot. But I think I am going to whew, drink some freaking water, man. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. grocery haul for you guys. I need to like bend over. I don't have a good spot for my camera. I don't know if I can stack that on something. Like, is there something I could stack? You know, we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, I got an extra bag, didn't use a bag. So this grocery trip, Alex and I try to spend every week uh, around $50 on our groceries. So we are not big, big spenders on our groceries. And honestly, most of the stuff we get it's vegetables. And you guys will see today, I honestly, I didn't get that many vegetables because we already had some leftover from last week that we didn't need. So we already had peppers, zucchini, yellow squash, lettuce, and I think that's it. But those are like our main ones that we have on hand. We always have onions. Sometimes we have potatoes, but I know we have potatoes on hand right now. But yeah, we have some of the basics that we already usually get. So First things first, green juice. I like drinking green juice in the morning. I got dairy-free yogurt that is with almond milk. Tuna, because I went to make a tuna sandwich last week and we were out of tuna. Bananas. I also usually buy avocados, but I already have one avocado on hand and I don't think I'm gonna need more than that this week. A dairy-free, gluten-free, I'm pretty sure this is also, yeah, it's meatless pepperoni, so it's also meat-free pizza. Those are just good for us to have on hand for when we both have crazy work days or something. And I am typically the one that makes dinner. So if I don't have time to make dinner, we got dairy free pizza. We also have, these are both dairy free. So this is like cheddar shreds. And then this is mozzarella shreds, cherry tomatoes, tortilla shells, got asparagus, blueberries, and then the very last thing is a lot of eggs. <laughs> we go through a ton 
a ton of eggs every single week for me. I, I usually eat eggs every single morning for breakfast, but then there's some days for lunch where I don't know what I want to make and I don't want to order food out, so I will make myself eggs. And especially with Alex working from home more often, he makes eggs for breakfast as well. So that is it for our mini little grocery haul. This was such a tiny one. I did go to Publix. Usually we shop at Aldi just because it's cheaper. So I spent $54 at Publix this week and I feel like I didn't get that much compared to if I go to Aldi, I can get all of the things. And you guys may have noticed that I didn't get, what are typical things that I get every single week? So eggs, I usually get Brussels. Oh, we already have Brussels sprouts in the fridge as well. That's another vegetable that I have in there. But I usually get eggs, Brussels sprouts, peppers, always. Zucchini, yellow squash, sometimes, sometimes eggplant. We don't have eggplant right now. Lettuce, always, sometimes spinach. Uh, almond milk is another one, but we actually have a full thing of almond milk and a partially opened one already in there, so I didn't need that as well. We like to have tortilla shells on hand, sourdough. We already had sourdough. Uh, what else? And then just like meats and stuff, but our freezer is already stocked with meats. We've got salmon, ground turkey, chicken, uh, I like salmon burgers. We also have steak in there and sausage. So like we are flush with food. So this was just basically like a necessities trip. It was like, what miscellaneous stuff do I need to get through the week? And one of the things was tuna. I always like to have tuna on hand because again, if I don't know what I'm gonna make for lunch, this, like making myself a tuna sandwich is the easiest to go to. And I can show you guys in a vlog how I make a tuna melt that's dairy free, which I mean like is really, really easy to do, but I can share that with you guys if you are interested. But I'm gonna put these groceries away. I just wrapped up a vlog and I put it live for you guys, which I'm super happy about because I did take the middle of the day to do personal stuff. So it feels good that I was able to get a full vlog done, uploaded, complete. Fancy girl. Do you need to go potty? Do you need to go outside? So that vlog is done, feeling great about it, but I found some footage that I ended up not including in a vlog the other day. I don't know why. I, I honestly think I didn't move that footage over or I forgot about it. I have no idea what happened, but I was making cookies and I wanna include that in this vlog. So here's a couple of days ago. <laughs> I have been on the hunt, and by on the hunt, this is actually the first recipe I've made. I've been looking at recipes and stuff, I just I haven't made any. To make cookies that are like, uh, you know, like, what is, like, uh, granulated sugar, right? Free. So I use agave when I make my pancakes, when I like sweeten my matcha, but I don't use that much in my matcha. And I've just been trying to avoid using that kind of sugar. So I wanted to find cookies that used agave and this is my first time. So we're gonna see if I like them. They're not bad. The recipe specifically said that because of the agave, it's gonna taste more like cake batter and that's kind of what it looks like. I don't even know, but it's kind of spongy, but it's good. It definitely doesn't have the same texture as a normal cookie, but it's still good. 
And that is it for this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below. And the next video you guys are gonna see from me, I am pretty sure is my office tour, how much money I spent on my office, as well as links to everything. So if you've been curious about something that I got from my office, I'm going to be including links in that video. So I'll see you guys back here then. Bye guys.